this is Alison and today we're shooting from the extremely glamorous location of my car in South East London and that actually brings me on to today's topic uh, which is all about commuting and how to make the best of it so commuting is something that we all hate hates a strong word I don't I don't think I've ever met anybody that loves the commute to work if you think about it you've got to drive long distances or you've got to sit in traffic or you're going to be cut, uh, pressed uncomfortably against a total smelly stranger on a tube going in and out of London, which is just no fun. Um, most people, you instantly go onto social media, um, listen to the radio, read the news. Most of those things don't really make you feel good. They actually leave you feeling quite stressed, quite anxious, and they can sort of lead to depression and feelings of unworthiness so that was generally how I felt anyway so I worked in sales jobs pretty much my whole life so I've had to drive around and for me that always involved listening to the radio listening to my iPod you know and I just felt so depressed and I got to a stage where I just didn't want to drive anymore and I turn up to my appointment stressed out late you know, I just felt like, I felt like a caged animal, I'm not going to lie. And then I discovered the work of an amazing motivational speaker and self-help author called Zig Ziglar. And he's written a book called See You at the Top which is designed for salespeople. It teaches them how to perform better at work, how to um, improve your self-image, and most importantly, the key message from the book is never leave home without turning your car into an, a university. If you think about it, you're driving four, five, sometimes six hours a day, and you're just sitting there listening to radio, someone else talk, uh, mainstream media which doesn't ever really make you feel good or you can use that opportunity and that time to learn something so learn something that's really going to benefit you and change your life so that's what I did so for about five years I've been listening to audiobooks so learning as I drive and my chosen field uh, which I'm learning is self-development personal um, development uh, women's empowerment, meditation, spirituality, that kind of thing. So instead of being stuck in traffic and getting annoyed, I now think, oh well, just can listen to a little bit more of my audiobook. And it makes me feel really calm and it makes me feel really good because I'm actually doing something that I want to do. I'm taking control of the situation rather than allowing the situation to control me. So that's my invitation to you. Ask yourself, are you happy in your job? If the answer is yes, that's great. And then ask yourself, if you're not happy in your job, then what skills do you need to do? What do you need to learn in order to change your career and be happy? And then get yourself an app like Audible, which is a brilliant app where you can download one, two, however many books you want a month and get learning and before you know it you've been in the car for three four hours and you've had a great time because you've been learning all this cool stuff and you know a couple of years down the line you could have learned enough to open up your own business or um, you know change your job or go traveling or move abroad just from sitting in your car and you will notice that people don't annoy you as much, you know, you're not going to get annoyed by people cutting you up, um, you're not going to get so annoyed by the traffic and being late because you've got something worthwhile to do in the car. I mean, for me, the thought and the prospect of listening to the radio, I just couldn't go back there. You know, there's so much negativity in the media. Um, you know, you've got all this kind of terrorism, this hatred going on around in the world and I don't want to hear about it not because I don't care because I do care but I kind of think to myself what benefit is it to my life is this going to affect me directly you know if I'm listening to this and I feel that if I'm gonna if I need to know about it I will know and yeah listen, uh, turning the news off was the best thing that I ever could have done to be fair and I would just like to finish by saying I've read so many audiobooks probably about 50 by now and I've had a great time so 
traffic doesn't bother me anymore, other people don't bother me anymore. But ask yourself that, and instead of flicking through Facebook and you know going through your scrolling through your news feed, ask yourself what can I do to make my life better? And if you make those small steps, I promise you that your life will change for the better. That's my insight today, and thank you very much for watching.